Okay, so this is part two of the video because the first part had uh, a weird audio thing pop up. It looks like my audio might not have been in sync with the video. So I don't know if I'm going to post that or get my uh, dad to help me. He's a video editor. We'll see. Uh, maybe this will be the pre-story before editing for anyone who's really wanting to know. Um, but yeah, so let me get to this fourth ceremony with the women. It was really sweet. It was really sweet, but it was really deep healing. And... I mean, I can't even, it was one of those things that was so magical, you kind of like forget a lot of it, but you know so much afterwards. So it did a lot of deep healing work in me, and a lot of deep healing work in somebody um, I loved, that I was also bringing forward into the ceremony, and that I love, and just like, whew, incredible, incredible, indescribable experience. Um, I really felt myself merge with the divine, I had a vision. Uh, I don't feel to share it on the video particularly, but you can ask me personally if you're interested. Like, it was a vision of merging with the divine in a very interesting and clear, like, precise path sort of way. And so I have a lot of direction now, and I'm doing a lot of research and a lot of processing on how to how to work this into my life, or how to make it, you know, my life, to, to embody the divine. Um, which is what I feel we're all called to do in different ways, in different, with different characteristics and qualities. Um, through our unique personality. So, yeah, I mean, just some of the wisdom um, that had been building in me was really solidified. Um, you are an expression of the divine, your personality and ego, and you are God. I mean, I am, I am. Um, I believe when Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life, no one comes to the source but by me. He really meant I am and me, and you can apply that to yourself, and it can be like a mantra for yourself. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the source but by me, by realizing that you are. That you are beyond personality and ego, and that there is one current that flows. There is one force. There is one source. There is one movement, one breath. And it is how we are all connected. The whole omniverse, all that is, is connected. Because it can be no other way. That's when, you know, people are saying God is all present, omnipresent. That's everything. That's all. That's the all in all. And I'm just experiencing God as that, as God in me, through me, as me. Um, more and more and just seeing that this has been a truth pervading many ancient cultures and, and many people are waking up to it right now and it's nothing to be afraid of it's something to embrace it's the way that Jesus showed us to be that we are the light of the world we are one with source we are one with one another at some level you know that's the truth we are the spirit behind every eyes all the eyes all the sets of eyes all the consciousness every rock and tree every atom of creation fabricated with the same light and life, right? So I'm getting into some philosophy here, but just, this is who I am, um, and, you know, my journey is still unfolding. I don't claim to know it all, because I don't. <laughs> um, the I, the greater I, knows all things, but the little I, the fun of the limitation is to learn and to grow. So... Um, little Eye is on this journey, and I am changing my name to Kairos Alana. This is the name I got from my guardian angel about eight years ago in a vision. I asked, what, what is my spiritual name? Um, and I got Kairos Alana Deus, and I looked it up. I talked to friends and came away um, with a clear translation of the light of God awakening. Um, Kairos is the light, Alana is awakening, Deus is of God. Uh, the light of God awakening and I feel like that's what I'm coming into in my uh, incarnation on this planet is realizing I'm the light of God waking up to that fact and sharing that with others um, through creative expression and through just my life being lived in uh, authenticity and earnestness of spirit and love and honesty um <laughs> the fruits of the spirit so Kairos Alana is the name I'm going to be going by 
and it's the uh, the spiritual business sort of name that I'm I'm gonna be using as well. My br beautiful brother Joel made a logo for it, um, which I'm really excited about. Which is like that that bursting light coming forward, and um, with sacredness, that sacred geometry. And so that's why you might see my name as Kyrus different places. You might hear people referring to me as Kyrus. If you've known me as Carly, uh, that name has become even more beautiful to me since I've made this um, change. And I've really felt that now is the time to make this change to Kyrus. So I welcome whatever you feel comfortable calling me. You can call me both. And thank you for joining me on my journey. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. The light in me honors the light in you. I love you so much. Namaste.